Paul John Frankie Carbo, born Paolo Giovanni Carbo, Italian, modifier letter vertical line, pa, modifier letter triangular colon, OLOD, Latin small letter as O, modifier letter vertical line, Vanny Car, modifier letter vertical line, Bo, August 10th, 1904, November 9th, 1976, was an Italian American New York City Mafia soldier in the Lucchese crime family, who operated as a gunman with murder incorporated before transitioning into one of the most powerful promoters in professional boxing. Early years Carbo was born in Agrigento, Sicily on August 10, 1904. Carbo was sent to the New York State Reformatory for juvenile delinquents at age 11. Over the next 10 years, Carbo would be in and out of prison on charges including assault and grand larceny. During this period, Carbo was arrested for the murder of a taxi driver who refused to pay protection money. Pleading not guilty, Carbo claimed self-defense. He eventually agreed to a plea bargain of manslaughter in exchange for a reduced sentence of two to four years in prison. After serving 20 months in prison, Carbo was released. Prohibition With the passage of Prohibition, he began working as a hired gunman for several bootlegger gangs. In 1931, Carbo was charged with the murder of Philadelphia mobster Michael Mickey Duffy in Atlantic City, New Jersey. However, Carbo was eventually released. During the early 1930s, Carbo began working for murder, incorporated under boss Louis Lech Butchelter. Murder record By the end of the 1930s, Carbo had been arrested 17 times and had been charged with five more murders. In 1939, Carbo allegedly participated in the murder of informant Harry Big Greeny Greenberg in California. He was arrested for two years later. This time, former Murder Incorporated members Abe, Kid Twist, Rills and Alley, Tick Tock, Tannenbaum agreed to testify against Carbo. However, before the trial began, Rills, who was under police protection, fell to his death from a window of the Half Moon Hotel in Coney Island. His death was ruled a suicide, and the case against Carbo was eventually dismissed. Former Philadelphia crime family boss Ralph Natalie has claimed that Carbo was responsible for murdering Benjamin Bugsy Siegel in Beverly Hills, California in 1947, at the behest of Meyer Lansky. Boxing promoter During the 1940s, Carbo became a boxing promoter, working along with Vettor, Eddie, Coco, James, Jimmy Doyle, Plue Mary, Frank, Blinky, Palermo, Harry, Champ, Siegel and Felix Bochkiccio. The group was known as The Combination. Together they were highly successful in fixing high-profile boxing matches. Carbo eventually became known as the Czar of Boxing. In a 2002 interview with The Observer, Bud Schulberg talked about Carbo and his partner Palermo and their involvement in a 1954 welterweight championship fight. Frankie Carbo, the mob's unofficial commissioner for boxing, controlled a lot of the welters and middles. Not every fight was fixed. Of course, but from time to time Carbo and his lieutenants, like Blinky Palermo in Philadelphia, would put the fix in. When the kid gave a Johnny Saxton fight was won by Saxton on a decision in Philadelphia in 1954, I was covering it for Sports Illustrated and wrote a piece at that time saying boxing was a dirty business and must be cleaned up now. It was an open secret. All the press knew that one, and other fights, were fixed. Gavilan was a mob-controlled fighter, too, and when he fought Billy Graham it was clear Graham had been robbed of the title. The decision would be bought. If it was close, the judges would shade it the way they had been told. Saxton was managed by Blinky Blairmo. After losing his title to Tony DeMarco in 1955, he would regain it in a 1955 title match against welterweight champ Carmen Basilio, another fight considered to be fixed. 
Sonny Liston by 1959, Carbo and his partner Blanky Palermo owned a majority interest in the contract of heavyweight boxer Sonny Liston, who went on to win the World Heavyweight Championship in 1962. From the start of his pro career in 1953, Liston had been owned by St. Louis mobster John Vitale, who continued to own a stake in the boxer. At the time Palermo and Carbo acquired their interest in Liston, the notorious Carbo was imprisoned on Rikers Island, having been convicted of the undercover management of prize fighters and unlicensed matchmaking. According to both FBI and newspaper reports, Vitali and other mobsters reportedly controlled Liston's contract, with Vitali owning approximately 12%. Liston fought 12 fights under the control of Carbo and Palermo. Further legal troubles and death in the late 1950s, Carbo started running into legal troubles. First, he was convicted of managing boxers without a license and was sentenced to two years in the New York City jail on Rikers Island. Following his release in 1960, Carbo was subpoenaed to appear before a Senate investigation committee to testify on his involvement in professional boxing. Carbo took the Fifth Amendment 25 times, answering, I cannot be compelled to be a witness against myself. In 1961, Carbo and boxing promoter Frank Blinky Palermo were charged with conspiracy and extortion against the National Boxing Association welterweight champion Don Jordan. After a three-month trial, in which U.S. Attorney General Robert Kennedy served as prosecutor, Carbo was sentenced to 25 years in prison, serving his sentence at Alcatraz Federal Penitentiary in California, McNeil Island in Washington State and United States Penitentiary. Marion in Illinois. Granted early parole due to ill health, Carbo was released from prison. He died in Miami Beach, Florida on November 9, 1976. In popular culture character Tommy Como, Nicholas Colasanto in the Martin Scorsese film Raging Bull, which stars Robert De Niro as boxer Jake LaMotta, is based on Carbo. In the 2016 film Hands of Stone, Carbo is portrayed by actor John Turturro. References Further reading Rosen, Charlie, 2001. The Wizard of Odds. How Jack Moline is nearly destroyed the game of basketball. New York, Seven Stories Press. ISBN 1-58322-562-5. Knack, William, 2003. My Turf, Horses, Boxers, Blood Money, and the Sporting Life. New York, De Capo Press. ISBN 0-306-81250-9. Scott, Peter Dale, 1993. Deep Politics and the Death of JFK. Berkeley, University of California. ISBN 0-520-08410-1. Syphakis, Carl, 2005. The Mafia Encyclopedia. New York, De Capo Press. ISBN 0-8160-5694-3. Mitchell, Kevin, 2012. Jacobs Beach. The Mob, The Fights, The Fifties. U.S. Open Road Media. P. 102. ISBN 978-1605982731. Anderson, Anne Margaret, Binder, John J. 2014. Philadelphia Organized Crime in the 1920s and 1930s. U.S. Arcadia Publishing. P. 47. ISBN 978-1467121170.